Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Right, what's up guys? So today you join me from the driver's seat of a 2017 Audi S3 8V. Now a huge, huge thank you to Mike at Revit Up UK for bringing down his personal S3 for me to drive today. This is no normal S3, it's the facelift one, so it's got the nicer front end in my opinion, it's the newest S3 that's been bought out. Running around 210 brake horsepower from the factory, this one, 420 420 brake horsepower so i'm very intrigued to see how this goes i really like my s3s i've wanted one for quite a while so this one is the pinnacle of s3 at the moment it is a slightly greasy and damp day but mike has said do not worry about that this car can handle any sort of weather with the four wheel drive system. Now this one being the facelift means it's got the seven speed DSG gearbox in it, which I've never actually experienced. Very, very impressed with it. No judders, no, you know, funny noises from this DSG box. Changes gear very quickly as well. So modifications wise, this has had the APR stage two map put on it on the engine. It hasn't had a DSG map yet because there isn't one out for it yet. But once that is done, Mike is definitely going to follow through with his DSG map as well. It also has an AirTech front mounted intercooler. It has a Scorpion downpipe. So it creates a bit more noise, a bit more pops and bangs. And you will not believe the pace of this thing. It is like a hyperspace button when you press the accelerator. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I got in a car and say, go to third, second, and it, it honestly, it just absolutely throws you in the car. I, I can't genuinely believe how quickly this paces is honestly so instant with its power delivery as well something i've never experienced even the golf r i don't think was anywhere near as you know crazy really in its pace delivery as this is honestly you go from so say we're in third go down to second make sure no one is about because it does just and we are well north of the speed limit there <laughs> It's also got the virtual cockpit, which you have to get in one of these. It looks so good. It's got obviously the satellite maps it's all, you know, digitalized. I love all the screens and stuff. You know, you've still got your um, speed and you've still got the revs and stuff at the corners, but you've got obviously the sat nav in the center. Really do like that. I just can't believe the pace of this bloody thing. <laughs> and it does the magical DSG fart noise as well, which is exactly what you want. You want that in one of these. It makes such a good sound. Obviously with the downpipe as well, it creates a bit more excitement when you do change gear. Now this one is also lowered. The IBAC 40 mil lowering springs on it, but it actually has the mag ride as well. So when you do put this car into sport mode, it does completely change the characteristics of the drive. It does become very choppy, in a good way though, in a B rotary way. And I think I love that, that you can have it comfy and then when you wanna go, yeah, no, I wanna hurt the living crap out of this thing, you can do that as well. So guys, let's have a quick look around this 8V S3. Now to point out the first thing I love about this thing, the nano gray paint, it's not the Nardo. With this being a facelift, they actually came out with a different gray. So it's got a bit more of a, a funnier tone to it. I really, really like it. This one is quite a big spec car as well. It's got 19 inch wheels from the factory as an option. A couple of various bits inside as well that I'll go through. But I'm really, really liking this facelift with the you know difference of the headlights coming around here. You know, it's slightly bigger grill, I think. It just looks so aggressive. Really, really cool car. So this is the 8V facelift with the seven speed DSG gearbox. This one's running 420 brake horsepower of a stage two APR map by Awesome. It has the AirTech intercooler, a Scorpion downpipe. It's actually lowered on the 40 mil IBAC lowering springs. It's got the virtual cockpit. It's got loads of stuff on it, but coming around the car, I am a, I'm a big fan of S3s, uh, always have been. And it's nice to see that they're still producing 
the same sort of style so you will have the silvery colored mirrors on the s line s3s and stuff cool little spoiler there. i like these little bits here that sort of bring the spoiler up a little bit it's still you know relatively i'd say mundane looking you, you know you need to know that this is an s3 but it's it's quite nice in that sense that it's this wolf in sheep's clothing 420 brake you know it's just brutal coming around the back though this sort of shows it off you have these sort of diffuser bits like canardy bits at the bottom the quad exhaust as well looks really cool this one as well i have to point this out if you take the key out unlock it yeah that is so cool i'm so glad that audi are doing that it's it's the small things so yeah i'm i'm a huge fan of the the indicators i know crazy but coming inside as well the inside is just so good on these you have the virtual cockpit if i just get in virtual cockpit right in front of you so we take the key screen comes up in the center start it and there we have the virtual cockpit in front of us so you have um, what will be you know Google Maps there we go the Google Maps is just coming in there complete satellite mapping with the revs this side speed that side you've got fuel down there this is an option that I would have to get it looks so good and it's a massive help when you're driving obviously this steering wheel as well being flat bottom really really cool but the driving sensation you get with that being right in front of you really really do like that and to the driver's right hand side you have this p3 gauge which you can cycle through so battery boost coolant air loads of stuff this does your your naught to 60 as well so speed you can have your speed up there if you so wish to naught to 60 so if you do the launch control so foot on the brake there hard on the uh, accelerator it will read your naught to 60 time and actually stop once you get to 60 as well so that's where you'll be getting your naught to 60 times from such a good idea really really impressed with that and overall inside i've got to admit it's such a nice place to be these seats are stupidly comfy there's more than enough space in the back and obviously you've got a big boot in these as well so yeah if you're in the market for an s3 go and get the harman kardon sound system that's the first thing go and get the cool paint on this one the nano gray i love the nano gray optional 19 inch wheels go and get them and the virtual cockpit needs to happen if you're going to buy one of these from the factory make sure it's got all of those on it that makes the s3 in my opinion that's why i love this one so much another thing to point out is that this has the p3 gauge just to my right here which measures you know a mad amount of stuff but also your naught to 60 time and i've actually been sent a video of this going naught to 60 in 3.3 seconds 3.3 seconds in a hot hatch when was that a thing when did that start happening <laughs> absolutely no slip even in this crappy weather as well the car is having absolutely none of it it just grips and forces the car down the road like you wouldn't believe. I've driven supercars that aren't like this. Supercars. This thing is insane. I'm so impressed right now. Honestly, what a product from Audi. You tweak it a little bit with a stage two map and ah, oh, the downpipe, the intercooler. And it absolutely, honestly, when this thing comes on boost, you will not believe that it tears your face off in the way it does. It's like, it dumbfounds me a little bit that this is what is coming out of the factory, really, with a bit of tweakage. And this as well has got a huge pack on it. It's got the virtual cockpit. It's got what is a mind-blowing sound system. Honestly, if you're going to go for this, get the Harman Kardon sound system, you will not believe the bass, the treble, everything in this car is literally crazy. It's the perfect all-rounder. That's what this is. Audi are great at doing that, though. They're great at producing all-rounder cars, and this is one of them. You put yourself in this situation where you're in a comfy, you know, well-specced, it's, it's a lovely place to be, this. And then you realise the power. The power of what you've got under your foot is mind-blowing. It's so fast. So, overall thoughts on the 8V s3 that i'm in today the 2017 stage 2 apr animal absolutely animal it's nice when it's not in sport it's a lovely car to be in honestly it's it's so comfy and it's got everything you could ever want as you would expect from an audi product and then you use the launch control and then you flip it from third second 
honestly, it just does not mess about this car. I can't, I genuinely can't believe how fast it is for a hot hatch. This is a hot hatch. If you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe below. Leave me a comment. What do you think of Audi's new products? I'm so glad that I was able to take this one out, especially first sort of S3 for the channel that's been tuned. I want to find more tuned versions of these ones because with a map and a little bit of software updating, this thing has become a absolute animal. Second gear. I can't believe, I genuinely can't believe how fast that is. It actually scares me how fast that is. Yeah. Until you drive one, you won't get it though, I don't think. 420 brake in something that's got this much traction. Make sure you head over to fydapparel.com, cop yourself some FYD merch to support the channel, and I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers, guys.